and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube watching this video later on for some Ayaris Citadel deck. Again, we're going to play this deck over in Ranked today. Uh, you may remember we played this deck the other day um, as it was a donation deck. We played a league and it was awesome. The deck felt really good. We went 5-0 and oh over there in the constructed event. So we're going to take it to the test here today um, and play it over in Ranked and see how it does over there. Yeah, we made we made a couple of changes. We we made like the changes that we talked about um, at the end of the video. You know, getting like the fourth gutter bones and third murderous rider in the deck and everything. So um, yeah, at the end of the the video, whenever we played this the other day, you know, we kind of cleaned up the deck list. It looks a lot looks a lot better now. We had some other like ones and twos um, that weren't really too necessary in the deck before, and so it's cleaned up. We're gonna give it a try. So what our deck's all about is is just pinging the opponent to death. If you don't, uh, if you haven't seen this thing before, so we have, of course, the Cauldron Familiar, which is oven combo that these these two can just you know keep on triggering. That each opponent lose a life, gain a life, and if you have a Yara in play, you get that multiple times. But of course, a Yara is just the, like the backbone of the deck. You know, playing a Yara, you know, each creature that enters, they lose a life, we gain a life, and so we're trying to get a Yara in play and then play a whole bunch of creatures. Um, Lazotep Reaver and Orzov Enforcer were both really impressive in the two drop slots, just being uh, multiple bodies. Uh, Reaver right away, Enforcer after it dies, you get another body. You know, so multiple triggers with Ayara, and of course, really good creatures for Priest of Forgotten Gods, which was um, probably the the most impressive card. Uh, I was wasn't expecting Priest to be as good as it was, but Priest, um, you know, just kept on. Uh, being able to activate priests there's there's not as much like you know really cheap removal right now that people are trying to kill small creatures as much because there's not as many good small creatures running around and so priests would stay alive and we get to to sacrifice other creatures make them lose life keep drawing cards and uh you know go from there priest priest is pretty important also ramping us into citadel if we can get there um but yeah so this is our deck it was a lot of fun to play last time. We're going to just go right to the games. Let's see how we do. So we're going to play best of three, of course. We're playing Ayara Citadel. Let's give us a try. As you all know, I've, I've uh, made the mono black value deck uh, that, you know, we played it again like early, about a week ago or so now. And, you know, that was what I, I labeled at the time, like my favorite deck for ranked. I still like but then this deck looked really impressive as well and so it's it's possible this is a better mono black deck certainly possible and so I wanted to give this deck a shot in ranked with us playing it in, in a league last time all right time to throw our opponent a bone or two I'm hoping no Clarion here. Hoping we get to get Midnight Reaper in play before a Sweeper. If you show remorse, I'll show the troll deck no, was was I good. Yeah, we did really really good with the troll deck. Uh, I think you know we went we played uh, four matches, went three one, and the last now, the last match I didn't you know the, our loss I did not play the best in the, during the loss. Um, it was like the end of the night, you know, last match of the night, and I didn't play the best. But it, the overall, the deck went really well. I know my responsibility. I'm really glad to hear that, Guru. Really had to, yeah, really glad to hear that. Only time will tell. Well, T Teferi's doing exactly what Teferi does. Slowing me down quite a bit, letting my opponent set up. They're still at 18 life. Whoops, sorry about that. They're still at 18 life. Here, you know, turn five. Let's slow this down. Just does such Let's a good job this. of slowing the game down. Plan. 
So we want to draw a citadel. That's our that's our best draw step. We want Bolas a citadel. My opponent's not really pressuring my life total. We're, we're wanting to see a legendary artifact. All right, so it, envision a legendary artifact being uh, drawn here. No, double fires of invention does not do anything. The, the second copy doesn't do anything. There's no difference between having one fire zone invention or two fire zone invention in play. Legendary artifact. 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 Citadel. Well, we're digging towards it. Hmm. So, I mean, I can just throw all the two drops. That's kind of bad against the sweeper. I want to get Midnight Reaper in play, but we're only double spelling with playing Midnight Reaper. <laughs> this is a 24 land deck. So we've seen 9 out of 24. So 37.5% of our lands. That was a good turn for them. So they have a fl if they have like the blue cavalier, I'm gonna be dead. As long as they don't have the blue cavalier, I'm okay. Will they stop having these clarions? Come on. <laughs> triple clarion, triple Teferi. Yeah, I don't I don't know why they didn't give their cavalier lifelink. But that Clarion, that third Clarion there is really a killer. So we need our extra murderous rider. Let's get this extra menagerie in here. Get all the duresses. Um, I mean, usually I'd want to cut priest in a matchup where I'm bringing in like all the duresses, but priests can, you know, get rid of the cavaliers. Then again, we also have the murderous rider for that. I'm 
gonna take out two priests and then kind of trim around the edges as well. Oh, uh, sorry, so sorry, uh, sorry, San. You win O2 in the event, lose into turn two Oko both times. That's that's rough. Sorry about that. <clears throat> yeah, if we were going to draw as many lands as we did last game, we could have definitely cut some. Drew 11 lands. This time we only got two, though, so far. Double Fires of Invention. Why do I run multiple cottages? It's just so good with Citadel. Um, but then also like getting back a Yara after they kill it and everything. I I can certainly see taking out a cottage for another swamp. I, I could definitely see that having one too many cottage in the deck. But it was it was good. It was good last time. I was hoping for another Citadel. Or sorry, not Citadel, sorry. Uh, I was hoping for a, another Duress. Sorry, that's what I meant to say. I was hoping for another Duress to take the fires. Unfortunately, we did not get to take the second fires. Why do they have to have two fires of inventions in their in their hand? Ugh. That's what I have to say about that. Ugh. Uh, sorry, Andy. Yeah, Phoenix can be tough. You gotta have best bet there is like Oko. That's a great card to draw. Witch's Oven was really nice. Good. I, I like drawing the swamps here with us about to play Citadel. All right, so they got Jeskai for this. So they got gain five life. Gain five life is rough. Gains trample with haste. Come on. Why does that have to have trample? Yeah, this is a 
This is just such an amazing turn. This fire zone invention is so good. I can't, you know, I want to obviously save life for Citadel. If it didn't have trample, I'd be fine. Jump blocking. I guess I want Enforcer. And what an amazing turn. Yeah, I'm going to be cottaging the cat, yes. I'm going to be using the witch's oven. Sorry, not cottage. Or Oh, you're saying like witch's cottage the cat. Oh, yeah, but I, I think I want the enforcer because the enforcer can block and kill the Kenrith. Sorry. So no, so, so yeah, I, I cottage the enforcer. But yeah, we'll we'll be sacking the cat to the oven for the damage there. Yeah, they could definitely just kill the enforcer. I mean, but I mean, what else? Do you, what else do you want me to do? I mean, yes, they could have removal. Why they have to have two fires of inventions? When I, you know, I have one duress. Why do they have two fires? I don't think it gets any better for that that deck. Turn two removal. Turn three removal, because of Bone Crusher Giant. And then turn four fires plus wish. And then. Turn five, sweeper plus huge haste threat. Turn six, double huge flying haste threats. You're dead. No, I, I like duress more than drill bit. Hmm. All right, well, not going so well for us. Why do I like duress more? Uh, because it is always one mana. Drill bit is not always one mana. There's there's just too many times where drill bit's not one mana. It's I want I want my spell to, to reliably be one mana. Uh, Duress works a lot better with Citadel as well. However, um, I've always liked duress, but 
However, you could convince me because of Simic Flash being mostly all creatures and how Duress really doesn't help too much against Simic Flash because it's mostly all creatures. I could be convinced that I'm wrong there and that I'd rather have Drill Bits even if it's costing three mana. Oh dear. Truth. The thing I hate about Oko is it's just impossible to play creatures. Oko makes it impossible to play creatures, and creatures are like my favorite card type to play. And there's just no reason to play creatures anymore because, like, how how are you supposed to go under a turn two Oko with a creature? You just you can't. Like what? I invite you to change your ways. Like, Oko really punishes you for playing creatures. So are we just all supposed to not play creatures? So we'll bring in Noxious Grasp and the extra rider. That's another game, though. Does Is there anything better than turn one Grazer, turn two Oko, turn three Questing Beast? Does it get any better than that? Like, what? why do our opponents have to have, like, the, just the, like, their best possible hands every game? Why is, like, what's the deal with this? Where we mold the five. Over on our side. So yeah, Cottage looks pretty bad right here. I I am leading off with a Cottage because I want to play Priest on turn two. Um... Legion's End, we don't want to... Well, one, we have to keep a lot of creatures in our deck. You know, being like a Priest, a Yara deck. We can't just... We don't want to play too many spells. Don't want to overside board. But then, two, I don't really know what they're going to have that I want a Legion's End. Like, what, Krasis, maybe? Like, I don't want, I don't care about Legion's Ending a Boreal Grazer. I guess we could Legion's End a Goose. But I'd, I think bringing in the... Four removal spells that we did, knock three Noxious Grasp and one uh, Murderous Rider. It's going to be good enough. thought about cutting a, a Witch's Oven. Revel with your king, wild and sovereign and free. Hey, it's turn two Oko again. I think a little merriment is in order. What a surprise. Fine. Remain blind. Alright, at least they won't have Questing Beast on turn 3. Hey, what's up, Bato?
Thanks to the Twitch Prime sub there, Bato. I appreciate that. We get a little luck there. the world to watch kings grovel and worms rule. Yeah, I actually didn't face Simic Flash at all either. Yeah, that's basically what I saw too. I saw a lot of aggro and, and golos. Surely you must be famished. Hmm. One. I really don't want them to be able to minus five and, and trade a food for one of my creatures. Obviously, I could sacrifice to the witch's oven, I guess, though. <clears throat> but still, don't want them to be able to do that. Let's broaden your existence. Oko can, of course, turn... Uh... Yeah, I definitely debated about sacking that and just getting a familiar back. But I, I guess it's better to have a 3-3 in play. Oko can turn Citadel into an Elk. share my vision. I wasn't going to be able to attack Oko for lethal. Unfortunately, it would have been nice to have that Witch's Oven in play. But yeah, it looks like, if I guess, we got enough cards where if I would have just killed the Questing Beast instead, we would have had Lethal here. But, you know, we didn't guarantee to have enough cards there. Yeah, I know, I could have killed Questing Beast.
So yeah, that's what our deck can do. If we get to Citadel. Yeah, definitely. KY, okay, well, yeah, definitely. Uh, I think Citadel could work there in Mono Black Knights if it had a way to gain life. Absolutely. Citadel is just very powerful, but... Um, so yeah, definitely. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Thanks, SC. Yeah, it's still seven seven wins was was really good. It was a it was a fun event. Uh sorry to hear that space. Magic's a tough game. Magic's a tough game. good so that works okay um they're mulliganing i'll try this against a mulligan maybe <laughs> yeah a yarrow with citadel it's pretty awesome hopefully we draw some spells hopefully we can you know be alive turn six for citadel at least Do they just have turn two Oko again? Third game in a row? Please don't. Please don't. Well, we put up a good fight. They do have turn two Oko, and my first two draws were just land, land, back to back. All right. <laughs> yeah. GG's. With the knowledge to direct it, my plan is crystallizing. Surely you must be famished. Yeah, both Oko and Royal Scions are just impossible to kill. Like I, have, I have no shot at killing these things. They have, you know, start at six loyalty, and this thing ticks up two a turn, this thing ticks up one a turn. Yeah, my only prayer would be Elder Spell. I don't, I don't have any Elder Spells. They need a passive ability, to be honest. Ugh. I mean, the only reason why I'm still playing this is because of the stream. I would have, if I was off stream, I would have already conceded and moved on because I have no shot of winning this. To change yeah, I guess I guess my prayer is that I I double top deck, you know, murderous riders. All right, I guess there's a prayer.
I'm surprised they didn't turn a Yara into... Cat? No cat. Surprised they didn't turn a Yara into an elk, to be honest. This looks a lot like game one. Yep. So much for me thinking that we didn't have enough land in the deck. My plan is crystallizing. So Royal Silence is about to ultimate. <laughs> yeah, we do have enough swamp for the cottages. That's true. So I'd rather have a 3-3 in play or would I rather draw a card? Oh dear. Oh, I get it. Oko says, oh dear, because turns the card into a deer. I get it. How do we have not, how do we not have anything to do on turn five with six cards in hand? How do I have nothing to do? Is that even possible? I guess we have a chance of killing our opponent this next turn with Citadel if we get really very if we get really really lucky. No, we have 24 lands. So that's 5 9, so that's 9 of them. 9 out of 14 Bow cards. The mind's rain. And the heart's fervor. Obviously with, you know, taking all this damage here from the Royal Silence, it's going to be tough to have enough life to play things with Citadel. We could really use a bunch of cats. Oh. Okay. Well, that's not so bad. That's 10 more life that we're going to have. Change your ways. You know, that would have been 7 to us, but now we get to gain 3. So that isn't extra 10 life that we would have had. And we could just find another Ayara off the top. Hopefully.
We've drawn all the swamps. It's got to be like 10 spells in a row, right? <laughs> oh, it's just another land. It's just another land. Surely you see the humor here. No. It's not humorous. All right, well, we get a booster. What's in our pack? Gems. <sighs> I got gems from the pack because I have all the rares. There's no rares to open up. <laughs> Now we're just going to get no lands. Okay, three lands, three spells. Let's see how we do. Simic Guildgate. So yeah, Hogs in how it works is it Oza, or Oko changes the power and toughness. It doesn't matter what it says in the on the left hand side. Or sorry, on the right hand side, in the bottom right hand corner. No matter, no matter what it says there, it changes that to be three three. So if you have cards, um, you know they would normally be a zero zero like Crisis. It's now a three three. Like the count, the you know plus one plus one counters don't get removed, so it still is three three, and then plus one plus one counters are still there. Sad part is I kind of need the Citadel. That probably means no sweeper. Do they just not play a land?
which which mono black deck? We dock. This deck here. Yeah, I mean, maybe, maybe this list isn't good enough. Because I'd only played it that one other time. My opponents have decided to have really, really good hands here today, though. <clears throat> Yeah, maybe this deck's not good enough. Basically trying to drain our opponent out. Eight. It's the tough part about mulliganing. You know, if we don't mulligan, we get to keep the Citadel in hand, and I, I can play Citadel like this past turn, and, and our turn's a lot better. Tough part about mulliganing. Oh, wait. Wrong one. Thanks for the cheers there. Is this a different mono black aggro list? Um, so this is, yeah, it's not really an aggro. We're not really playing an aggro deck here. Um, we're not, yeah, we're not playing an aggro deck. 
Um, but yeah, we've played a couple of different um, mono black lists recently. Uh, a mono black value list that's really more focused on ETB creatures. And then this is a Citadel, an Aria Citadel deck where we're focused on draining the, the opponent out with Aria and Priest of Forgotten Gods. Um, but uh, yeah, so the, the Simic Flash question is i like simic flash a lot in best of one but i don't i don't love it in best of three because basically everyone's playing veil of summers there's just veil of summers everywhere and that card is devastating to simic flash uh, yara is it isn't that what i said if i said something different just imagine i said a yara Yeah, I did not say Arya. That's for sure. So yeah, I'm pretty sure I said a Yara. So they they have Growth Spiral in hand. My deck wants to give me absolutely nothing. So Growth Spiral will be three more creatures. Okay. Our life would certainly be easier if we did have a Yara. Though. Yeah, I think, yeah, I definitely think we would have won this game if we had a Yara. Like, we've played so many creatures and gotten so many creatures. Like, they would easily, like, it would have easily been two or ten if we'd had a Yara instead of one of these Midnight Reapers at some point. They shouldn't go to attackers first. Okay, they're just doing that. They, I mean, if they attack out, I lose. I'm not exactly sure why they don't attack out. I'm, I'm just dead if they attacked out. Land. More land. Wow, they made that really loud. All right, I got 13 lands. There's not many lands left.
Yes, I could have chosen to not take the Midnight Reaper with Menagerie, yes. All right, a bunch of Ashiox and Legion's Ends. And... What are we sideboarding out? This is not really a Priest of Forgotten Gods matchup, but Priest was pretty awesome there. Like, maybe we should just have... The Menageries are, like, not bad, but maybe we should just have, like, all Citadels. Um... Yeah, I wish we could tutor for a Yara. But yeah, if we just don't have a Yara in the top, you know, 20 cards like we didn't have there, 25 cards or whatever, it's tough. Hmm. Yeah, Priest is not wonderful. I I think I still want a couple just to have like, you know, two of them in there. But no, it's not it's not perfect in this matchup at all. <laughs> there you go. Good job, Crumble Cruds. Good job. There, you could play Liliana instead of Gruesome Menagerie in the deck. Um, I was honestly kind of worried about hitting six land drops with this kind of deck, with just twenty-four. But um, yeah, we're not. We've not struggled with hitting six land drops at all today. But yeah, Liliana is definitely a powerful option instead of Menagerie. Um, Hey, Fairmount, everything's going very good. I mean, besides this league, this league has not been going too well for us, but besides that, everything else going good. Yeah, see, our, our deck doesn't top out with four drops, so we can't really go to 21 lands because, you know, we do have the Citadels. So our, our deck doesn't exactly top out at at four
Definitely thought about not playing the gutter bones a second time, just picking it up and just leaving those things. So that was a pretty obvious. Wrath there. They're down to six. Back up seven. What do I think about Which is what do I think about uh, splashing overgrown tomb and temple of malady for once upon a time? I don't love it. It just basically takes four slots of like playing other creatures. Find Krasis. Citadel. So I can cottage back a Yara. Uh, yeah, Squid, um, check out the YouTube channel. I did, I played a bunch of best of one decks earlier on the week for, for people for the event here. Um, you can also check out, we, I just played Simic Wishes in the event there. I like that deck quite a bit. Best of one. I think Simic Flashes is good as well. Um, and then, yeah, you can see some other decks over there also. Well, this is going to be a lot harder to drain the opponent out when they have Oko. Oko is such a beating. Oko just turns these things into being 3-3s. Three trying over here but if if we don't find at this point if we don't find citadel we're not going to be winning it's 
So yeah, I, I think our deck needs at least three copies of Citadel from playing these games. Maybe better just to activate Castle. Instead of playing Gutter Bones. <laughs> Thanks, Balding Yeti. <laughs> Fairness. What a bizarre expectation. It's not completely over. We find Citadel. A little late for you, Ashiok. We need to hit Citadel here. If I, activate, if I activate Castle, I only have five lands left. Oh well. Might as well, because I'm conceding here. Cool. All right, so yeah, we just basically there is never a game like we just never drew Citadel, ever in any game, and it's the card that we always needed to draw. I think I want a spyglass in the sideboard to be able to, um, yeah, I think I want a spyglass. I want a 20th swamp to cottage. The cottage wasn't so bad though, honestly. I think I want a, a spyglass over in the sideboard just to be able to name Oko with spyglass. And so we don't have to continually look for more removal for Oko all the time. Cheap spells, of course, are really nice with Citadel. All right, we're going to play one more match with the deck here with these changes and see how it does. Not the greatest Witch's Cottage here. I'm going to be going turn two Cottage. I'm going to play Gutter Bones on one. I'm going to play, unless, you know, like we draw a land. So if we don't draw a land here, I'm going to play Cottage on two. We'll save Reaver for after a Yara. Okay, but now we got a land, so yeah, we'll be good there. Yeah, we didn't have to mulligan finally. And we actually have a Yara and Citadel. 
two cards that our deck's named after. Crazy. I know, I, I complain about never drawing Citadel. This is what I get. <laughs> They're like, all right, here you go. You can have every Citadel. And it's like, I mean, I don't, I don't hate it. I would rather have, I'd rather have every Citadel than no Citadel. So all we need to do is draw the six mana and I feel really good about our chances. We, that's something that we have done fairly easily every is game is draw draw land. Here goes nothing. Okay, no six land in the first two draws. I could have instant speed wrath, but instant speed wrath isn't as valuable whenever we have like a Yara that gets to untap anyway. Good chance that's a bad attack. <laughs> that attacking them is better. I just want to keep this Teferi down. I do not want the Teferi to be bouncing stuff like bouncing like my Citadel, everything like bouncing stuff with Doom Foretold out. Uh, but good chance I should have just <clears throat> attacked them for one. They would be at six right now. No. I don't think you understand what Citadel does if you think that rank gold would be better than Citadel. We get to we get to just play so many cards with Citadel. And you know, we use like that this ability also, the SAC ten permanence. We play just a whole bunch of cards. It's just a game. It's a game-winning card. Where Rankle is, Rankle is very good, but Rankle isn't game-winning. Citadel is game-winning. The lands sure do go in bunches. To untap a citadel. I mean, 
No, opponent's not really struggling. That's what their deck does. Like, they're, they've actually had, like, basically exactly what they want to have. Like, they got to have, um, you know, dance here. Like, they want to have dance here. They would get only three things back. I guess they'd have two eggs. They get three things back with a dance. Yeah, they they don't play the the flash creature. There you go, Ponage Factory. You're six one in the event with this deck right here. Very nice. Good job. Yeah, I have two ovens in this deck. All right, we should be able to kill our opponent from 11. I mean, well, you know, obviously it depends on what we hit and everything. But I feel pretty good about killing our opponent from 11 with having all these swamps in hand. And they're definitely dead. Okay, maybe not definitely dead. <laughs> Why'd well, I have to say that? Uh, yeah, one. <laughs> I said that when I needed one more card. But then we hit land, land. It's like, it's like we need like yeah, we just need like one more permanent to activate Citadel. We need one more, um, you know, one more trigger for a, a Yara. <laughs> we were like so close there in so many ways. One off there and one off Citadel. So I'll just sack the two enforcers. So we can keep our permanent count high. Wow. It's a lot of lands. Yeah, tokens are permanents. Yeah, I'm just staying back on defense. I mean, I, yes, I could have attacked for one uh, in the Trust air. Me. You'll thank me later. Oh, I've done the hero thing before. At this point, if we if we win, I don't think the the one damage is going to be the difference. Yeah, Citadel's legendary. So 12, 13, 14. All right, so it's 14 lands. Um, after this swamp, I think there's 10 lands left in the deck. I 
That should be it. Hooray. So yeah, we'd be able to sack Cauldron Familiar, bring it back, get some drains there, attack in the air for lethal. All right, we finally got there. Took a little bit. But we did it. I don't want Murderous Rider. Um, or Priest. Should probably play Spyglass also to shut down Teferi. We'll just take out a... It's either a Reaver or a Gutter Bones. We'll just take out a Reaver. Okay, here we go. <laughs> yeah, Hawkeye Freeze the deck. See, I know some of y'all think about, like, the Witch's Oven and... Um, whatever the name of the cat. Cauldron Familiar. And the Cauldron Familiar, like, that that combination is... You know, throwing cats into the oven and cooking cats, it, I, that's that's brutal. I don't i don't really think of it that way. I, I go with the other part of it's just we're making food for the cats to eat. And so the, the cats are just eating food. Because it's not like the cats die. The cats stay out on the battlefield. They just get to eat some food. Speaking of kitties, there we go. Thank you so much there. Show me your kitties. I appreciate that sub. 14th sub of the day. Sealed is sealed is good value wise. It's it's better it's it's much better value than opening up boosters playing sealed is. The cat is fooding is is eating food that is made out of cat, so that's catabolism. Hey, why do you got allegions on that? Cats just have a high metabolism. They're keeping their. I was trying to say metabolism. Metabolism. Me metabolism. What do? We, so yeah, how do I envision it? I don't know. I envision like the oven is just bacon pizzas. You just tap it, and, you know, it says sacrifice a creature, but, you know, like, we're not really sacrificing the cat because the cat comes right back. So it's like it's like telling the cat to go put a pizza in the oven, and so the, the cat puts a pizza in the oven and then eats the pizza. Eats a pizza. Pretty sure that's, a, that's what's actually happening. You're just like, hey, go go make a pizza. And the cat has to like go to the store and get the ingredients and everything. Um, do I want another Lazotep Reaver in play? Um And so the cat's going to the store right now looking for the pizza. Or, like, getting the ingredients. Yeah, the cat becomes a full-time cook. Doesn't have time to hang out on the battlefield. Exactly. You haven't seen a pizza cake? It's a pizza cake. It's a piece of cake. It's a feature. The feature sub of the day. Getting in there with Twitch Prime. Thanks for resubbing there. I appreciate that. Yeah, a calzone. A calzone's a pizza cake.
the hungry kitty. I paid four life for that. That's a ripoff. I want my mana back. Need to talk to my manager. I can no some mana back. Stand by and watch. Trust me, I have a plan. Lisa's cat's, cat's getting fed. This is hardly my worst defeat. I know it's thing. Once once we take out a land from the deck, we'll just never draw a land ever again. We'll never hit land enough land drops. Not gonna show you this hand. Bleh. Citadel. Not quite. Now my now my opponent knows my secret strategy. <laughs> what could they ever do against so many swamps? Like how how's my opponent ever gonna get through like all these swamps to to actually deal damage to me? It's like more swamps than it's like hard it's like harder to get through all these swamps than getting to Mordor. My opponent would rather try to get to Mordor. It's easier. Still paying for life for that. Hopefully my opponent's not dancing over there. Hopefully no dances over there. There we go, good, no dances.
I think. So we pay five life. I mean, I'm cracking this thing. Five life. All right, a Yara, great draw. We can get the gutter bones back to sacrifice the doom foretold. <laughs> yeah, no swamps. <laughs> yeah, what, what were those draws? Those, those weren't swamps. All right, no dance over here. You hear me, opponent? No dance. We need George Michael over here. Hope they never dance again. Yeah. George Michael. Oh no, they kept on top. Scry to the top. Let's see. So they're at seven. If I attack for three, four, five, six. That doesn't kill them. So we put them down to one. Might as well draw. Yay! The cat's going to finish it out. I'm going to let the cat finish it out. Got to feed the cat. Yay. No dancing or mancing over there. And we're prancing. <clears throat> okay. We won a match. We get a pack for winning a match. <laughs> Imagine losing to a swamp deck. The deck is only swamps. Alright, we got a castle. I think that's the last rare that I need to open up. <laughs> yeah, draw all of our lands first. The strategy worked, finally. A lot of the games that strategy was not working, but finally that strategy worked at the end there. All right, so yeah, looking at our deck, um, honestly, maybe we want 23 lands with this. You know, maybe 24 is too many. Uh, <laughs> I would think that with 23, it'd be kind of hard to cast a six mana card, but you know, maybe with the help of Murderous Rider getting you extra cards, Priest, Ayara can get you extra cards. Um, maybe we can just go down to 23 because that was... A lot of lands over and over and over again for four straight matches. Um, so, yeah. I guess that, but that's all I got here for Yara Citadel. Did not do nearly as well as it did the first time, you know, whenever we played the deck. But we also had a lot worse luck this time with flooding out game after game after game. That's how magic goes. Um, so, yeah, if as far as, like, what to put in instead of the other land like maybe just another oven ovens are just usually good maybe we just play another oven and cut it if we're cutting a land i guess we should probably cut a cottage so i think i think that's what we'll try next is is play 20 whoops play 23 lands and get an oven in here and and you know see how it plays if, if we you know don't get to hit land drops too much then you know maybe we'll know that we need to change that oven helps your midnight reaper also, though, um, besides, of course, the cat combo, which is awesome, it also help, helps Midnight Reaper as well. <laughs> Why isn't this deck called Aristocats? Uh, it probably should be. That's a, that's a good name. That's a good name there. Um, but
But all right, okay, cool. So there's a Yara's Citadel. So if you're watching this video later on YouTube, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons over there. And also please leave some comments. Let me know what you think of the deck. I know we didn't uh, draw too well here. Let me know what you think of 23 lands. If you, like, is 23 lands gonna be enough? Um, is there anything else there that I'm, that I'm missing? Um, you know, all that kind of stuff. If you're trying the deck out at home, you know, uh, how are you doing with the deck? Are you, are you winning? Are you losing? Like, what are you, what are you struggling with? What are you doing well against? You know, leave all that kind of feedback. Uh, Citadel is, is very, very good. Yeah. Citadel is, is really good. But of course, like whenever you hit land, land off the top with Citadel, then it's not so good. So, you know, taking a 23rd land out does help, you know, taking a land out does help whenever you do have Citadel in play also though. Um, okay, well, that's it here for Ayara Citadel. So uh, if you're watching the video on, later on YouTube, thank you so much for watching again, and I'll see you for the next video.